uh, welcome to numbers world today we are going to solve past papers of 32nd international kangaroo mathematics contest which was conducted in 2022 for equilier level that is for grade 3 and grade 4 students so let's start it question number 13 aladdin has square carpet there are the same number of dots arranged in two lines Along each side of his carpet, unfortunately, the carpet has folded. How many dots are there on Aladdin's carpet? So, so as it is a square carpet, so same number of dots are given in the first uh, column and first row. So let's count the number of dots in the first column. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, 6 dots will be in the first row. So 6. To find out the total number of dots, we can multiply the number of dots in the uh, column and in the first row. So 6, 6 are 36. Option D is the correct option. There are 36 dots on it. Aladdin's carpet. Question 14. Joanna holds the number square twice as shown. Then she punches a hole through the black spot shown by the arrow. Which number does she also punch through? So here you can see the straight line, she folded the paper once and after that she folded it again. Green line is shown to highlight that. After that she punched the middle of the first row. If we consider one big square consisting of uh, 9 small squares, so she punched 20 over here and the mirror image of 20 is 40. And if we just uh, imagine that when she folded, the exact opposite of 14 is 17. And the exact opposite of 20 is 23. So these four numbers got punched. So option B is the correct option. 14, 17, 20 and 23. Question number 15. The pupils in a class sit in rows. There are the same number of pupils in each room. There are two rows of pupils in front of Robert and one row of pupils behind him. So it means that there are two before Robert is sitting in the third and one row is after him. So there are four rows in total. In his row, there are three pupils on his left and five pupils on his right. So uh, he has three pupils before him. Then Robert is sitting. In the fourth place, and five are uh, on his right. So, in total, there are nine pupils in each row. How many pupils are there in this class? So, we will multiply the number of rows by the number of pupils. So, nine fours are 36. Option E is the correct option here. Question number 16 Some shapes are drawn on a piece of paper. The teacher folded the paper along the red line. How many of the shapes on the left will fall exactly on top of the shapes on the right? So you can do mapping over here. This first square will fall on the first square. Then second on the second. So this arrow will fall exactly on this arrow because the shape of the arrows are exactly opposite. They are mirror image of each other. And uh, secondly, if we fold them, they, they are in the same column as well. Similarly, this triangle will fall on this triangle and uh, the third shape that is an arrow will fall on this uh, arrow exactly. There will be no problem. But here, this circle is in the first column and uh, the second circle is in the second last. So obviously, they are not going to fall exactly on each other. And this triangle is not exact mirror image of uh, the second triangle so they cannot exactly fall on each other because the corner will come out from uh, this side and that is it will be like this so there are exactly three shapes which will exactly fall on top of the uh, each other so option c is the correct one Question number 17, want to choose a few of the following shapes and said amongst the shapes, I have chosen there are two colored ones, two large ones and two round ones. What is the smallest number of the following shapes that Wanda could have chosen? So, uh, she has to choose two colored, two large and two round ones. So, we can see there are that there are three colored shapes, three large shapes and two round shapes. 
so we will start from the last criteria which is two round shapes because there are only two circles which she can choose one circle is large so we can write l circle large circle and one small circle so last criteria is fulfilled that she has chosen two round ones now let's move to the second criteria she has to choose two large ones out of those two large ones one circle is large so we can consider that now we have to choose the second large shape we have two options over here square or triangle out of these two we will choose large square the reason is that she has to choose two colored ones as well so if we see out of these two circles small circle is already colored and if she choose large square that is also colored so she doesn't need to choose any extra shape so in the colored ones she will uh, uh, see that she has already chosen the large square and small circle which are colored already so minimum she can choose three shapes out of six as we have to choose the smallest number of the shapes so we have to work technically here so to do that we will find the, some common characteristics in the given shapes question number 18 the puzzle on the left should be completed to look like the puzzle on the right what piece should be used so here we can focus on any two colors like red and yellow we can see that these two colors are together but it in option b and e there is another color between these two colors so option b and e are incorrect now we will focus on option a i want to match red color with red so i will have to just rotate the uh, option a a little bit to fit it into the star here i can clearly see only red color is matching with red but rest of the colors are not matching with each other so that is not the correct option now let's rotate the option c and fit it into the star here we can clearly see all the colors are matching with each other so option c is the correct option here question number 19 karen sailed around four boys as shown which boys did karen sail around in the counter clockwise direction here we can see that the clockwise direction is highlighted in blue color and counter clockwise direction is highlighted in green color if we follow the arrow the first one is uh, in clockwise direction the second one is in anti clockwise third one is also in anti clockwise direction and the fourth one is in clockwise direction so option b is the correct option question number 20 alma wants to put one of the pieces shown in the middle of the picture so that a child in a is able to travel to b and to e but not to d she can rotate the pieces which two pieces could she use so if we try option a that is the correct one she can move from a to b and to e now we can try option 2 uh, here that is not correct because from here it can she cannot go to e so 3 and 4 are also incorrect we will try uh, our fifth route which is also correct because from here she can also go to e and b as well so option e is the correct one first and fifth question number 21 ahmed and zahela start moving from point a with the same speed in the directions shown ahmed walks around the square shaped garden and zahela walks around the rectangular shaped one they meet at a what is the smallest number of laps around the square shaped garden that ahmed could do to meet zahela there First number twenty two. Five children ate some plums. Lauren ate two plums more than Sophie. We do not know how many plums are eaten by Sophie, so we can write that she has eaten x plums. Lauren ate two plums more than Sophie, so we can write Lauren is equal to two plus x. Now the next instruction is Betty ate three plums fewer than Lauren. Fewer means less than Lauren. we will write betty is equal to the number of plums lauren eaten which was 2 plus x and fewer than 3 uh, fewer than lauren means minus 3 out of lauren's plums so 2 plus x minus 3 in the answer x will remain as it is 
Now two minus three. If you imagine the number line, you are standing at two, and you take three jumps backwards, then the answer will be minus one in that case. So it means Betty has eaten x minus one. X means the number of plums Sophie ate. So she has eaten one less plum than Sophie. Then it is written clear ate one plum more than Betty. So clear is equal to the Betty's plums, which was x minus one, and she ate one more plum than Betty. So we can write plus one over here. So just a number line. We are at minus one. If we add one plus one into it, we will be at zero. So there is nothing left. Only x will be written. So it means that the clear has eaten the same number of plums as Sophie ate. But we will complete the question now. And three plums fewer than Alice. It means that clear has eaten three less uh, plums than Alice. Which two girls ate the same number of plums? So here, as we discussed earlier, Sophie and Claire, they have eaten the same number of plums. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 23, every box shows the result of the number on the left and on the top. Which number is written behind the heart? So we can see it's a grid. Five threes are 15 and four threes are 12. Here, the number is given, but we have to find out the number under the question mark. So, 5 watts are 35. 5 sevens are 35. Now, we have this number present over here. So, we can multiply 4 by 7 to find out the number under the heart. So, 4 sevens are 28. So, option C is the correct option here. Question number 24, Joanna numbered four cards from one to four. On the back of each card, she draw one different fruit. So each fruit represents one number. The one written on the back of the card, Joanna realized that what is the sum here? So we can see it is written strawberry plus watermelon is equal to grapes. So let's suppose the value of the strawberry is one. And the value of the watermelon is 2. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Now in the first equation we said the value of the grapes is 3 and strawberry is 1. So let's add 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So our equations are satisfied. Now we have to find out the sum of the watermelon and the apple. So 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So option D is the correct option here. It's 6.